Hi guys, it's me Karen from Karen's Intuitive Jewelry. Hope you all are starting off your weekend with a bang. I'm exhausted. <laughs> As most of you probably know, we just finished up our second hurricane and I'm still playing cleanup. Oh my God, I thought I was going to die today. And I only did a very small section of my fence line. Um, anyway, I won't bore you with that. I got a huge call from Soul Star Crystals. I've been building a box since August. Oh my gosh. And I've got um, just about, well, I think for sure 20 different stones. So I could not wait. <laughs> I had to do it tonight. It just came today. But I want you to know that I have been working on some requests. And um, this is a little, obviously, a spider web. Let's see the little spider. Isn't he cute? Um, but I, I think it's too fragile. So I'm still working on some, uh, a different sturdier web and I'm not sure if it'll look decent or not. So I'm working on that. And that's why my hands are so, so dry because it's winter time now and the humidity is down and my hands get super dry, especially dealing with the flux and all that. But, um... I started playing with some cute little spiders that are soft soldered, or you can just soft solder part of it and not the whole thing. So I'm working, I'm working on perfecting this if I can. So I just wanted to let you know that I am um, back at the bench, as they say, but I'm going, because there's so many stones, I am going to, um, once I get these all open, I'm going to uh, open them alphabetically so that I can briefly uh, share with you um, the health benefits real quickly of them. And so I'll be starting and stopping. But oh man. Wow, wow, wow. Look at those babies. Now let's see what's in the small one first. And I should probably skip through this part because this may end up being pretty long, but I know a lot of you guys like the um, sounds and, and stuff. So, you know, I don't know. I try to please everybody, but you know, that's impossible. Impossible. Ah, I can't stand it. Ooh, look at these. Interesting, huh? This is called Fordite. Have you ever heard of it? Pretty. Here's another package I couldn't resist. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. Look at these unique malachite. These were custom cut for crystal at Soul Star Crystals. Um, and I forget what it's called, this shape. Oh, generator, maybe? But I thought they might definitely be fun to wire wrap, and for sure, uh, soft soldering will work. But, um, yeah, those were different, because you all know that I'm not buying stones that I already have unless they're super cool shapes, and unless they're special stones. Okay, so let me open the rest of these bags and get them in order. 
and we'll start, okay? And y'all can always let me know if, if you prefer that you are with me when I open these or if you want to just get at them like me. <laughs> I don't care about all this packaging. I'm like, ah, I can't get in it quick enough. But um, I'm happy to do that for some of you guys, you know, if that's what you want. I try to accommodate. But for this one, because it's such a big haul, I'm going to go ahead and open all these packages and uh, alphabetize these so that I can go through my glossary, okay? Because we're already at five minutes. This will take me all night if I open every little package. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. You guys, wait till you see some of these stones. Oh, I can hardly wait. Okay, let me get organized. Phew. Okay, I am back. Oh my God. First up, in alphabetical order, this is Azurite in matrix and I believe it's quartz matrix but I just loved it and I love it because azurite reminds me of blue jeans right and we're always comfortable in blue jeans so beautiful so so beautiful and they're pretty thick actually and that's why I'm pretty sure it's quartz but just as a side note, um, here's just Azurite. And um, yeah, they're expensive, Azurite. And they can look different. This is mixed with uh, other stuff too, but it's quite a variety. So these are just Azurite. And these probably cost me more because they're all just azurite than all of these <laughs> because of the quartz but man i think they're gorgeous either way you know what i'm saying azurite treats throat problems arthritis joint problems helps align the spine it works at a cell cellular level to restore blockages or damage to the brain. It heals and repairs the kidneys, gallbladder, liver, spleen, thyroid, bones, teeth, and skin, aids with detoxification, soothes migraines, lessens tinnitus, which is the ringing in your ears, and balances vertigo. So that's gorgeous azurite. And this happens to be added bonus of quartz, which has its own healing properties and is considered a master healer. So it intensifies anything that it's paired with. So these are really, really beautiful. But don't they look like like blue jeans, denim, love them. Next is an Amazonite that has been um, combined with copper. And I just thought those looked so great. And I got some cool shapes. Aren't they gorgeous? I don't know. I just fell in love with these. I guess they're called like a conglomerate stone. And I believe they're held together with resin, but you can't, you can't see the resin. But I just think they're spectacular. Now, also, as a reference, right, so you get Amazonite and the healing benefits of Amazonite plus copper. And copper has many, you know, healing properties as well. But typically, this is what Amazonite looks like. This is a Russian Amazonite. Like, that's the area it was found. I'm not sure where this one was found. 
and um, it can be as light as, as this. So isn't that interesting? But you can definitely tell, right? And let's see, Amazonite helps treat the thyroid glands, relaxes the brain and nervous system, and addresses general fatigue. Next is another composite stone with the copper. And this is Charite, I think is how it's pronounced. But this you can see, there's some uh, transparency. So that's the resin. But I, I don't know, she said she had these custom made for her. She requested these and so um, I just loved them. I think I got uh, some of each one that she did. I wish I could do something about this light. I was trying to get it brighter, but not shining right on it. But isn't that beautiful? And um, Charite's another very expensive stone. And it comes in a wide variety of kind of what it looks like. And so like something like this is a lower quality and it's a real, it's a real, you know, varied color of purple. And this one, you can see it's got some black in it. This with the white and the feathery patterns is the higher quality. So I would say probably these three stones cost more than all of these. <laughs> Just for reference, I love giving you guys that information. So when I see stuff like this comes around that, you know, has some of the beautiful purple and some of the feathery, like the higher quality stuff, but it's incorporated with copper and resin. I don't mind that at all. I mean, I wouldn't want them all like that, but I think they're very, very unique and very beautiful on their own. But you can see the variation of them, but you, you know, you can definitely tell they're Charite for sure. So I just love them. And Charite relieves joint and muscle soreness, pain, spasms, contractions, and fatigue, helps regulate blood pressure, supports the pancreas and liver, improves eyesight and other vision problems, as well as aids in all sleep disorders. It's a beneficial aid when detoxing from any type of addiction. And this is a conglomerate that she requested in several different stones. And I scooped up um, two batches, I think, of these. Okay. This is just a small batch of Chrysocolla malachite, which is, uh, you know, another kind of pricey stone. So whenever I see them in clearance, I try to get them. Um, you can definitely see the malachite in this and the chrysocolla, right? So we've reviewed these before, but chrysocolla soothes sore, I'm sorry, soothes throat inflammation and infection of the tonsils, eases lung congestion, aids with COPD, bronchitis and asthma, heals stomach ulcers and other digestive tract issues, heals the gallbladder, detoxifies the liver, lowers fevers and blood pressure, strengthens the immune system, regulates insulin and blood sugar levels, particularly useful with type to diabetes. So this is a must have if you struggle with um, any type of diabetes or hypoglycemia or anything like that. And of course, malachite helps with arthritis, asthma, vertigo, hypotension, motion sickness, cramps, 
and it stimulates the overall immune system. So you get two healing stones in one. And that's naturally occurring, unlike those composite stones. Beautiful. And here's another beauty that I don't know you'll be able to truly appreciate how gorgeous it is. It's emerald, but in copper. And otherwise, I probably would never get my hands on emerald because it's another super, super expensive stone. Emeralds are, you know, not semi-precious gemstones. They're precious gemstones. So I really kind of appreciate that she requested these. It gives us as creators an opportunity to um, see and experience and create with some stones that we would otherwise never get our hands on. Oh my gosh, I love them. All kinds of shades of green and just some threads of copper through it. Isn't that awesome? I just think they're spectacular. Okay, emerald is considered a stone of sight. Well, let's see, emerald is stone of sight is what its nickname is or whatever, because it improves vision, cleanses the body, boosts the immune system, treats diseases related to the liver and pancreas, has anti-inflammatory properties to aid arthritis and chronic inflammation, regulates heart function, improves blood circulation, and helps prevent heart-related ailments. It also reduces stress and anxiety. I'm excited to have these. And these will be beautiful wire wrapped or maybe a soft solder and then with a copper patina and then maybe a tree of life and leave the tree copper. Hmm, I'm already thinking, thinking. Now these are in pairs, meaning they were cut from, right, the same stone. So you'll see a similar pattern running all the way through. So they're ideal for earrings, even though I never make earrings. <laughs> Only because I, I don't know, people want to pay the same price. Well, no, let me rephrase that. People want to pay half the price for earrings than they would for a pendant even though they're getting two stones and us as creators put in twice the work. <laughs> I don't get that. I really don't get that. But Fordite, um, in my opinion, it's, it's not really a gemstone. And if you're not familiar, these were formed from decades at the Ford motor company right while spraying while spray painting vehicles and it dates back to like the 40s or whatever whenever you know when the first i could be wrong maybe even older than that um but i don't think they had spray machines so i don't know but it's from like imagine the bays where the vehicles are and people spray painting and then they pull, pull a new batch in and they spray a different color and a different color and a different color, different vehicle, different color, different model, different color. Decades. Because then once in a while, somebody will come in and have to clean up all of that residue from the paint that's on the floor. And it can be who knows how thick. They probably have regulations now, but back in the 40s, they probably didn't. And these, you know, workers, when they did clean up, they thought, hmm, kind of like me, hmm. And they started making 
um, cabochons and stones and stuff out of it. Now, I remember seeing these, you know, four years ago when I first started creating in one of the Facebook groups, and the guy had made a bracelet out of, I think he had some beads or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but the price tag on it was $3,800. I was like, that guy's got to be out of his mind. So I went uh, to research what, what exactly was Fordite. I'd never heard of it. Why the hell was it so expensive? And realized that the older the paint, the reclaimed paint or the paint that, you know, the creations that made from older paint, say back in the 40s and 50s, are way more expensive than the current ones. And it's for a variety of reasons, reasons, and a lot of these more expensive ones, they actually trace back to the particular factory. They can tell you what exact model, what year of the vehicle that it was, probably the color of the paint and all that. So that's where that outrageous price tag came from, was because it was an older specimen. Now the newer ones are way more reasonable, but I still snatch them up because I've only, this is the first time I've seen them, first time that Crystal um, has had any. Now there is another product called Surfite, which I did buy um, months ago, and I haven't even created with them yet, is similar, but it's made from the paint of surfboard, surfboards, say that really fast. So it's similar, but of course surfboards, I don't think they date back as old as vehicles, but I could be totally wrong. But this is Fordite. But it's kind of fun, right? So that's that. Oh, and as a side note, I have seen some websites that do consider Fordite to have metaphysical properties, but my my intuition says kind of to steer clear of that for me anyway because it's you know it's a byproduct and paint so not really healthy <laughs> just saying okay next up this is also man-made but they're very popular especially at halloween goldstone and i had a few of them but the reason I purchased these were because they were round, like totally round, several of them, not all of them. So, and even though I didn't really make pumpkins this year, it's never bad to have. Look at the shine on those though. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty cool, you gotta admit. But they do consider these to have metaphysical properties, and I'm not quite sure why. But Stone of Ambition, it builds energy, courage, and a positive attitude, increases drive and confidence, promotes vitality, helps reduce stomach tension, supports circulation, and benefits arthritic conditions. Goldstone. Fun. This batch, uh, she was calling them um, Phoenix Laramar. Right? But when I did a deep dive, they're actually, or they can be known as Chinese Laramar. But when that something rang a bell in, in my mind, but man, aren't these pretty? Look at the flash on these. It's like, wow, I don't care what they call them. <laughs> but but um, I'm like, hmm, that sounds familiar because it is. This is hemimorphite and um, they do resemble Laramar and can often be um, mistaken 
or confused for Larimar, and some people can push them as Chinese Larimar, but they are not, and neither are these, but you can tell the difference. These are a high grade, and these are a lower grade, and you can tell by just the sheer size, right? I mean, the batch I bought of these, they didn't have anything smaller than this. But all of these are much smaller and it's because they're really a high grade and they're, they're just stunning, just stunning. And they support weight loss, help with pain relief, helps with blood disorders, can aid the heart, Um, is beneficial for cellular structures and actually maintains cellular memory, helps reduce uh, genital herpes, warts, ulcerative conditions, hormonal imbalances, burns, aids with restless legs, eases symptoms of PMS, helps maintain a balanced positive outlook when moving through hormonal shifts. Aren't they gorgeous? And yes, I had hemomorphite, but not like that. Yowza. Couldn't resist. Next up is a variety of malachite. And it's another pretty pricey stone. Um, this is one of those conglomerates, and I just loved it with the copper. It was really, really pretty. And then some really nice specimens of smaller ones. Maybe I can make some small um, sterling silver necklaces for Christmas. Really pretty. And then look at these. I don't know what they're called. The shape, but it's malachite. And so, mm, I had to give it a try. And she said that she got these custom cut too. But aren't those interesting? I want to say she referred to them as a, a regulator shape generator a generator, something like that, if any of you guys know. But they're um, like faceted. So that'll be interesting for sure to wire wrap, to soft solder, to probably do a pretty cool uh, prong setting but they'll look gorgeous in copper, all of them. Uh, let's see, malachite helps with arthritis, asthma, vertigo, hypotension, motion sickness, cramps, and stimulates overall, uh, the overall immune system. Beautiful malachite. This one actually looks like there might be some Chrysocolla in that. Yeah. I wish she had just batches of this. I would have bought a lot of them. But she sold the lot like this, which was still pretty cool. So at least I got one and then some small ones. Oops, forgot this um, conglomerate. I skipped right over that. I don't know how I did that. But this is one of those um, copper and lapis lazuli. Look how gorgeous these are. Man, just stunning. I just love these. I think they're fantastic. And they're much thicker. So that makes them kind of good for soft soldering. Aren't they beautiful? So lapis lazuli alleviates pain, especially migraines. 
It benefits the respiratory system, the nervous system, the larynx, the throat, thyroid, and endocrine glands, helps lift depression, boosts the immune system. Lapis lazuli overcomes hearing loss, alleviates insomnia, vertigo, and lowers blood pressure. Aren't those spectacular? Wow, love it. This was just a small, lovely lot of one of my favorites, Moonstone. And I thought, eh, <laughs> you can never have too much Labradorite or Moonstone. Ugh. I just think they're so sweet. And these were nice sizes and they all had really good flash in them. So I splurged, even the back. I mean, the flash just comes, you know, right through. Look at that. It's like a prism. Mm, mm, mm. Love it. Moonstone heals and balances the stomach, pancreas, pituitary gland, unblocks the lymphatic system, relieves anxiety, stress, and cures insomnia. Love me some Moonstone. Now I've cracked a few. That you cannot feel the crack, but I bet with too much heat, that might break. So I'd be very mindful, unless I was doing a wire wrap. These I found very interesting. I mean, they're not like a, like a moonstone, flashy or anything, but I thought they were, you know, different. And the shapes are different. I love this one. These are considered red moss agate. And there's a lot of yellow, so I don't quite know where the red comes from. I imagine maybe some look orangey. So that might be it. And those, these squares are pretty cool. So moss agate speeds recovery cleanses the circulatory system and the elimination systems, acts as an anti-inflammatory and boosts the immune system, helps prevent hypoglycemia and dehydration, treats infections, colds, flu, and lowers fevers. Moss agate, but this is red moss agate. Pretty cool, love that one. Isn't that cool, cool, cool? And these are quite thin. This is another one of those conglomerates, except there's no copper in it. It's resin, but this is ruby and again i appreciate this otherwise i'd never get my hands on ruby i mean i have you know ruby zoocyte ruby fuchsite ruby and quartz that kind of stuff but this is all like cast off scraps from when they're uh, doing the lapidary portion and it's almost 3d they look like they're floating in there so that's pretty cool and my guess, and I'm gonna test it right now, is that they glow in the dark under, well, under UV resin. Let me test it. And this is a UV light. And indeed, they fluoresce. How cool is that? They'd really be bright if I turned all the lights off. But I just wanted to make sure. That's how you can tell if what you think is a ruby is truly a ruby. If they don't fluoresce under a UV, then it's probably not ruby. Now, I apologize, I did not look these up because I thought I already had these in my glossary, but this is a sardonyx 
which is similar to a banded onyx or a banded agate even. Some people call it a tuxedo agate. Um, a lot of times they're in black and white. That's why it's called tuxedo. But, um, and sardonyx, same as onyx. So um, that's why I thought I had them, but they're quite beautiful. This has got some bright orange in it and it's transparent. This one has got a lot of yellows and bright whites. So I would say they're probably sim similar to an onyx meaning, but I'll have to keep that out and look it up. We're almost done. <laughs> I just have a few more. This we've already covered, but this was so big. Usually they're half this size. This is a spiny, uh, spiny oyster turquoise. Spiny turquoise oyster, spiny, how do they pronounce that? Let me see. Um, where'd it go? Spiny oyster turquoise. And it's basically a conglomerate like those other ones with copper. It's got pieces of turquoise, pieces of the spiny oyster, which has got a lot of oranges and stuff in its shell and um, copper running through it, and then they smush it all together. But this was a huge piece, so I couldn't resist. Isn't it beautiful? Spiny oyster turquoise supports general health with the respiratory system, neck, eyes, ears, and brain. Improves resistance against viral infections and improves the digestive system. This is a Tiffany stone and I don't think she's ever gotten this before and you probably can't really see it very well. Um, but these are usually quite expensive as well. They're a newer find um, and um, we won't go too far in depth with those. There's purples and grays and uh, kind of uh, orangey. Yeah, they're quite quite pretty. Um, let's see, Tiffany Stone helps with arthritis and scoliosis, improves blood circulation, balances the hormones, and helps detoxify the body, especially the lungs and throat. Yeah, you really can't I don't think we're getting a good view, but maybe here. They're quite pretty, but real muted colors. Well, this stone is a powerhouse for a healer. Honestly, wait till it'll take me forever to read it. But it's Wild Horse Magnezite. And um, it just has a real gentle energy about it. And these were such lovely... Um, molten patterns. I had a few left in my stash, but I hadn't seen these in quite some time and thought I'm going to get them because they really had some beautiful patterns. Okay, Wild Horse Magnezite relieves headaches, especially migraines, slows blood clotting, speeds up fat metabolism and disperses cholesterol, helps prevent arterial sclerosis, angina, and other heart conditions, acts as an antispasmatic, treats menstrual, intestinal, and vascular cramps, eases pain from gallbladder disease and kidney stones, treats but bone and teeth disorders, prevents epilepsy, balances body temperature, lessens fevers and chills, aids in releasing tension, helpful with constipation, muscle spasms, muscle adhesions, and chronic muscular tension due to stress, helps relieve overly sensitive skin fascia, and 
muscle tissues, supports healing from fibroids and similar disorders. <laughs> I told you, it's like a long paragraph. I was like, wow, that's probably got more benefits than any other stone in my glossary. Wild Horse Magnesite. This is so pretty. It looks great with copper too. And look at this beauty. This is a Zebra Jasper. Now I recently showed off some Zebra Calcite, but this is Zebra Jasper. Pretty. Okay, helps detoxify the body in general, increases blood circulation, alleviates gallbladder, issues, liver disorders, stomach pains and problems, helps to shorten recovery periods, boosts your energy levels, helps the urinary system and tissue dysfunction. Zebra Jasper. Last but not least, and this is a brand new stone to me, it is called Zeranite. And it kind of reminds me a little bit of a boulder opal with all those cool colors, except you can't really see the opal lines that go through. But a lot of times when you get boulder opals, <laughs> there really is very little opal to it. And these just remind me of like a lazy day for some reason and they go so well i don't know if it's those dark blues and you know greens in there or browns they just make a nice combo zaranite this is a precious and rare gemstone from siberia it consists of azurite a deep blue, malachite, you can see through there, chrysocolla, cuprite, which is some of the reddish here, and native copper. Ah, so that's why it's such a great combo, which was only discovered in 2015 in only one place on earth. It can appear in several different color combinations and patterns and can vary in colors such as red, yellow, blue, green, and brown. And um, you can get real specific, of course, and we could look up azurite, malachite, chrysocolla, cuprite, and copper to get all of the physical health benefits that this combined in one stone offers. So that's why I liked it. And I just now realized that it's because it's another powerhouse stone, but formed naturally. Okay, guys, that is it. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. So I apologize and you can fast forward through if you don't like it. But for you all who enjoy learning about stones, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll be back at the bench trying to figure out some more projects. Enjoy your weekend, guys. Bye now.